Okay, everybody. It's been a week since the infamous slap that was heard across the world. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you've probably been living under a rock or perhaps you just came out of a coma. If so, hey, welcome back. So with all this drama going on with the Oscars, Will Smith and Chris Rock, from the moment this happened, I had to ask myself, what is the connection? What is the distraction for this? Why would something so impactful in a negative way happen during the Oscars? And this has never happened before. So I saw some things that I noticed no one was talking about because all we could talk about was the smack. But here are some things that I want to highlight that, hey, maybe you can do some research yourself and maybe I'm crazy, maybe I'm not. But let me break this down to you real quick, all right? So, at the beginning of the pandemic, Chris Rock was an advocate for the vaccine, uh, for the COVID-19 vaccine. He made a joke, an infamous joke on Breakfast Club, I believe, where he said that he doesn't understand why people are afraid or skeptical about taking the vaccine because we've been getting vaccines all of our lives. We've been doing all kind of crazy things, going raw dog and all this stuff and uh, with sexual partners, but yet we're afraid to take a vaccine. And after that, every time you go into a comment uh, section of anyone who posts anything about, uh, you know, whether or not they want to take the vaccine, you always have someone that makes the same comment that Rick, uh, that Chris Rock said. Oh, we've been getting vaccines all of our life. OK, so here's the thing. And I hate that statement because, yes, we've been getting vaccines all of our life, but it's never been in a situation like this. It's like, yeah, you've been driving a car all your life on a highway and on roads, but then someone tells you to drive your car through a fucking jungle. It's not the same as driving through the streets. It's a totally different situation that we are in right now with this pandemic. So anyways, let's just put that puzzle piece on the side, okay? Chris Rock, advocate for vaccines. Let's just put him in the top left quadrant. Next, we have Jada Pinkett Smith, right? Miss Jada Pinkett Smith is uh, has gone bald uh, because she has a hair condition called alopecia. I never knew about this until, you know, it was brought up by her like a month or two ago. Uh, I don't know if it was on her. I saw maybe a post about her Red Table Talk bullshit show or something when she mentioned it. But if she hadn't, I would have never noticed. I would have just thought it was a cool haircut. Yeah, she likes having her hair super short. Ever since I saw her on um, Low Down Dirty Shame, she had the, the super short finger waves. So her being bald was not a stretch. So let's take that piece now and put it in the top right quadrant here. Right. So we have Jada Pinkett, alopecia, Chris Rock. Advocate for vaccine. Here's a crazy thing now. Will Smith, we know, has issues with Chris Rock since 2016, but that's a totally different thing. That just helped add a little fuel to the fire. Will Smith having the audacity to walk up on the stage of the Oscars and slap Chris Rock there has to be more to it than what we know. Why the hell would you risk everything? An actor who's played it safe his entire career, why would you risk everything now? Hmm. So here's the other piece that I'm wondering about. As they go to a commercial break, something pops up that nobody's addressing. Nobody's talking about this because we're too busy focused on this slap. But nobody's talking about the sponsor of the Oscars. Ta-da! Pfizer. Let's put Pfizer now, the bottom left quadrant of this puzzle. We have one more piece to fill out. 
Pfizer is a sponsor. Chris Rock is an advocate for vaccine. Jada Pinkett has alopecia. Now here's the kicker. Shortly after the Oscars, Pfizer got the green light for a treatment for guess what? Da, 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 da. Alopecia. Isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting? So maybe this is just a crazy conspiracy theory. It could be. But when you see three coincidences happening, one, hmm, two, hmm, three, ah, that's how you have to look at it. They want someone to turn around and be like, oh, that's crazy. That's bullshit. That's impossible that there's a connection between all these things. Because look, Will Smith isn't benefiting from this. He's done. Yes, he's done. But he got the one thing he wanted, which is an Oscar. They didn't take that away from him. And let's face it. Do you really think Will Smith was going to do another uh, award winning movie? I highly doubt it. He got his one just like Halle Berry got her one for taking dick from uh, Billy Bob Thornton. Let's get serious. Monsters Ball was wasn't shit. It was all about her fucking that disgusting dude. Right. Chris Rock, his numbers have gone up. His ticket sale prices uh, have gone up. And he's now he's now he's now he's the winner of this. Everyone is sympathizing with him. Right. So he didn't lose. Yeah. That smack is going to be there online forever. But people have him on such a pedestal right now that it's like, man, can I get a slap like that, too, so I can get some love and some and some money, too. But it's just this weird connection. And I don't understand the first year that Pfizer is a sponsor, this happens. A new drug comes on the market that is connected to one of the three people involved with this incident. And a second person in this incident is is on the side of Big Pharma. So I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. Am I crazy? Do you guys see something connecting here too? Drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Peace.